get started. Hey, it's Scott Fox from ClickMillionaires.com. It's time for video office hours. Thanks for joining me. It's time for an hour of friendly questions and answers about your favorite top, well, my favorite topics anyway. And if you're here, I hope you share my interest in lifestyle business design, e-commerce, website design, usability, product development, online marketing, social media, all these sorts of things are what I write my books about. As you can see on the wall back there, I've written three books about these sorts of things, and I hope that they've been helpful to you. Today we're going to do this live as a webcast. This is part of our monthly video office hour sessions where I turn on the webcam here in my office in Southern California and take your questions live. If you have a question, please jump into the chat room. If you're on ClickMillionaires.com, you can go in the chat room down there, right down there in your browser. In the corner at ClickMillionaires.com, there's some buttons you can pop up, and I hope you'll join us. If you come into the chat room, say hello. We've got a bunch of friendly folks, so let me say quickly, who's here we got today? We've got Aaron and Allison and Charles and Courtney and James and Jaxie and Kevin and Kim and Lisa and Marla and Mona and Sheila and Terry and more folks coming in by the minute. So thanks for joining me. You know, the reason I do this is because I think there's a big hole on the Internet. You know, my whole thing is to, to find niches and fill them, right? Well, this is a niche that I think is missing, is where regular people can ask regular questions from somebody who might have a clue about having to help them, but without charging them $1,000 an hour consulting fee. ClickMillionaires.com is the forum I started to do exactly that. I'm there as much as I can. We've got some very helpful and friendly moderators, including Sheila and Kevin, who are in the chat room now. Hi, guys, and thanks for your help. Between the three of us and all of you, we've got a great community there. We're pushing 2,000 members now, all of whom have read my uh, my books, most likely this latest one, Click Millionaires. And um, we're having a good time, honestly. Uh, at least I'm having a good time. And since more of you are joining every day, I hope that you are too. So I want to help you out, and that's what the forum's for. So if you're catching this later in a replay, well, come and join ClickMillionaires.com. If you use the special code Video Office Hours, We'll even let you in without having read my book. I'm not trying to hijack you or hold you up to buy the book. I'm trying to help you. And if you want to come and join us, please do. Now, if you're in the chat room right now, let's hear some questions, and I'll answer them. But I also got to promise to you that we've got a big announcement. I've got a new service I'm launching, and you're getting the first public peek at this in just a couple minutes. I'm very excited about it. I think it's something that's really going to help you guys. And I've got a really special deal on it just for you guys, too. And it's really, well, it's ridiculously cheap. You'll see. So, um, let's see now. Now, this is not a show or a webinar. This is questions and answers. So, if you guys have questions, please ask. The first person to ask a question will get free access to this new service I'm launching, okay? Free. And that will save you some money, I promise. Plus, the service is very cool. And I'm going to keep teasing it uh, for just a little more wa a while here because I want to explain the why behind it before I really... Uh, give it away to you. So now, there are no dumb questions. This is video office hours. Believe me, if you've got a question that you think is too basic, well, we'll just answer it and we'll move on. Don't feel bad about it. There are other people that are learning too. That's why I set this up, because you don't know. If you already knew all this stuff, I wouldn't be doing this, okay? I've been doing it for almost 20 years, and I'm here to help you. So if I can, please ask a question, and don't be shy. We're here to help you, and we really are a friendly, nice bunch. All right. Now, I wanted to mention, um, let's see, what's going on in the forum right now, before we, then we'll get to some questions. Uh, I wanted to point out in the forum, we've got some great discussions going on. There's been a lot of discussion about the Internet tax, which apparently has now failed, uh, but uh, still a very popular topic of discussion. Uh, we've got a bunch of people pretty motivated, even though we're not a political forum. Uh, this was going to hit our pocketbooks directly and cut all of us, including me, a little agitated. Uh, conversations about Facebook page likes posted by Eric. Uh, Julie launched a new website. Uh, Kevin was telling us about how he's living the click millionaire lifestyle now. Christine posted about business blogs and about her new book about Pinterest. Actually, shout out to our member Christine, who's just published a book on how to use Pinterest. You might want to check that out over at clickmillionaires.com. Get the details on her new ebook. Uh, let's see. Michael had a question about domain name extensions.com versus .info or .us. Christine asked about website speed. Um, Saeed wanted to know about website building packages from GoDaddy. The answer there is not. Don't buy Go <laughs> website building packages from GoDaddy, and so on and so forth. So if those are the kind of questions that could be helpful to you. ClickMillionaires.com is a great place to get some answers. And I want to also thank quickly our most recent uh, Community Stars winners. Not only are we the friendliest lifestyle business forum on the Internet, we actually award and reward people 
who are the winners of the votes. This is like a People's Choice Award, and every month we have people vote on who are the most helpful. And in this past month in May, as usual, we had some great contributors, and those included our friend Jake from the United Kingdom, Carrot from, uh, you're in the Midwest somewhere, I think, Carrot, and Sally, also from the United Kingdom. So thanks to the three of you for really being friendly and helping other people with the knowledge that you share over at cookmillionaires.com. Okay, so now in the forum, let's see, let's make sure uh, Terry Lee Johnson found the chat room. Hey, Terry, good to see you. <laughs> Should I say that one more time? Chat room down, sorry, there, down there. Chat room down there. If you're watching the video, go down there, come in the chat room, say hello. Okay, James, hi to, hi to you. Hello to Marla. Nice to see you too. And Kevin, Sheila, and all the other folks. So far, no questions. I don't know why everybody's being so shy. We're going to have a short show today, unless you've got some questions. And the first question asker will win access to my new service, so I think you should start asking some questions if you'd like. Let's see now. Uh, let's um, talk about, well, let's take a question, actually. I'll give you an example, okay? And then in a minute, we'll start giving away prizes. I want to introduce you to this new service. Here's a question that came in from Jonathan. Jonathan has a question about editing services. He's writing ebooks, and he says, my problem with ebooks and my blog is editing. I can ramble on about topics, and I can be very clear and passionate, but I have a very difficult time editing my own stuff. I need someone to help me with editing, someone who can tell me that they don't understand something or that I need to trim it down. I need feedback, which I can probably get once my readers read it, but I really want great content to attract readers from the start. Okay, well, Jonathan, that's a good question, and I think it's a very pertinent one to a lot of our members. When you're producing a lot of content, it can get hard to trim it, and I'm this way myself. Believe me, I write these big fat books, and, and it gets hard to write things concisely <laughs> when you're used to filling up tens of thousands of words, pages and pages and pages like this, right? Um, so I understand and I sympathize. But I agree, editing is a critical part of the publishing process. So if you're looking for somebody to help you and you don't have the money to hire someone, then here's what I do. Well, let's back up. If you have the money to hire someone, I'd go to elance.com or even fiverr.com and try these marketplaces where people list their services, or quickhelpers.com. Quickhelpers.com is another one. You can post your projects up there, and people will bid on them to help you. And you could get away pretty cheaply. I think editing is much less expensive than paying for actual writing, for example. But if you don't have any cash, what do you do? The Click Millionaire's way, of course, is to save the money as long as you can <laughs> until you're sure you're investing it for a solid return on your money. So I would suggest how about some bartering? You have other friends online. Could you be creative and bartering things? You probably have friends who are not as verbal or as typeable as you are. You know, they don't write as quickly. Maybe you could write some things for them, and then they could edit both yours and theirs. That's a, a tactic to take that would cost no money. Or maybe you have somebody who's, um, there are people who are in your niche who are going to want an advanced copy of whatever it is you're publishing. You could give them a free copy of the rough ebook and ask them to edit and trim it down for you. That often could work nicely too. Again, cost free. In this case, you're giving away a copy of the ebook, but it's a digital copy, not your only printed copy, so it doesn't really cost you anything else. And then I guess the other question is, um, maybe writing shouldn't be your focus. If this is really such an issue, and I don't think it should be, I think those first three suggestions could handle this for you, but maybe writing isn't your thing. You could do some talking. How about podcasting, for example? When you're a podcaster or do videos like this, the more you talk, kind of the better. <laughs> you don't want to talk people's ears off, but you could consider a change in format. Blogging's all the rage and it's gotten tons of publicity, and it's a really valid, great way to reach people online, but it's not the only way. So come on back into the clickmillionaires.com forum and ask, you know, any questions you have about that. We'll be happy to help you follow up on any of those points, including different ways to find editors, either paid or free, or how you might even consider switching formats to deliver your information in another way that's more suited to your natural inclinations and talents. I hope that's helpful. All right. So let's see here. Uh, all right, the computer's telling me I have to reduce my resolution, so hopefully you can still see me here, and we won't lose you. All right, thanks to Jonathan for that question. And then let's see how we're doing in the chat room. If you're tuning in late, I'm Scott Fox, and this is Video Office Hours, courtesy of ClickMillionaires.com, which is the friendliest lifestyle business coaching forum on the Internet. And I'm here to help you with your lifestyle business. And I hope that you can still see me. Folks, if you can still see me and hear me, I had to adjust the resolution there, and it sure doesn't look as good but hopefully you can still 
see me and hear me? Is it loud enough? I need some feedback, please, to make sure I didn't lose you. Okay, so let me know if you can. Okay, alrighty. Now we're going to talk about, oh, we've got a question in the forum. Hooray, James steps up. Our first question of the day, and he's going to win the new service I'm going to be promoting to you in just a minute, and I think you're really going to dig it. But let's see what James's question is. James is going to get a free access pass to this new service, and his question is, it's fine. Thanks very much, Charles. Okay, James says, I'm new in this online business. I need a better website and help to promote our two books. Where do I start for help with e-marketing? Wow, James, okay. <laughs> That's about a thousand questions in one. Um, a good question. Uh, that's so huge, I'm not sure I can. Did, you, did I mention I've written three books up to answer that question? <laughs> um, where do I start? Well, I guess the easy start is to come into the forum, and you've done that, and you're with us, and, um, and uh, it's helpful to have helpful friends like this uh, around you. Uh, Sheila is saying the video is light, but I can still see you. Can you explain what that means? It's overexposed? Is that what you mean? I need to turn down the lights? I need a little more detail, please. Thanks for all the sound checks, guys. So James, where do you start? Well, um, honestly, I'd, I'd read my books, and I presume you have because you um, are with us. And if that hasn't gotten you going, I guess I need some more specifics. So you could try doing that here, or you could go in the forum, especially if you've already written two books. Uh, you probably have a niche market. So I guess a quick answer, a rough answer, that we could explore more in the forum would be to look at the audiences for those two books. Profile those people. Who are they? What are their interests? What needs can you fill that they haven't been filled yet online? How could your website help them? The more you can help people, the more they're going to remember you and come back and tell their friends, and that's how you build a business. Now, that's true offline, too. That's nothing new, that, but it also applies in the Internet. Okay. Thank you, Sheila. Um, so, um, so, James, I would keep trying to think about your audience just as you did when you wrote the books. Then you need to find a format that is going to reach them and a hole in the market where they're not being served. Now this is all pretty big picture strategic stuff. I don't know from your quick question there whether that um, is helpful to you or not. So my real answer is come in the forum, give us some more specifics. Uh, it may seem obvious to you what market you're talking about and what your books are about, but we don't know unless you tell us. So come on in the forum and say, uh, and I apologize, perhaps you have, we have a lot of posts in there, but I haven't seen this uh, question, and if I missed it, I apologize, and we'll, we'll bump it up and try to find it and answer you anyway. Um, but, you know, who are you, what are your books about, and um, what are you good at that you'd like to try? You must have some ideas about this, so give us something to work with, and we'll help you out as best we can. All right, thank you, James, and James is going to get access to the new product. Now, this Ustream system we're using to broadcast, I can't do a really cool screen share, so I can't show you, but um, we're going to have, a, 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 I'm going to give you a URL here in a second that I think you're going to be excited about. But first I want to tell you about, well, I want to ask you a question. Let's turn it around. I'm going to ask you guys a question. What's the number one pain point when you're creating a new website? Now, I'm not talking about hosting or getting the site set up or picking a platform. I mean, once you have a website and you're producing content regularly, is there something that you find as a recurring problem? I mean, something that just takes more time than it should? Uh, an aspect of producing blog posts or website pages that you find expensive and inconvenient, um, that recurringly takes more time than it should, and that is probably hurting your sales because of that? That's my question for you. And I'd be curious, and Terry, then we'll get to your question in a second as well. Um, but what's a pain point for you? And not talking about hosting or picking a domain name or, or marketing. I'm talking about when you produce the website itself. What do you do writing, producing, you know, making that happen? What's something that you find recurringly time-consuming, expensive, distracting, and hurts your sales? Let's see. Let's see what people have, if you have any suggestions. And I know there's a lag in this broadcast, so it's going to take a second in the chat room. I have a problem like that, and I've been wrestling with it for years. I've been blogging since um, um, probably 2000, it's long enough ago, I'm not sure, how's that, 2006 maybe, uh, something like that, um, and I think that the biggest problem I have 
over and over. I'm a good writer. I'm a good talker. Um, I can uh, come up with ideas. Like a lot of people have trouble, you know, what's an idea for a blog post? I have tons of ideas. Those aren't my problem. My problems are in terms of producing, not, not, not traffic, Charles, but in terms of producing the website is exactly what Kevin and Marla and Sheila have all just said in the chat room. And some of you kind of knew this already, so maybe you're just helping me out here. But that is the answer that I've been wrestling with for years. Graphics. How do you make your website look good inexpensively if you're not a designer? It's such a pain. You're always looking for new stock photos or trying to take pictures yourself. Um, and, and you need good sales graphics like headlines and you know cool looking buttons and arrows and you know uh, testimonial boxes and guarantees and you know all this stuff can really make a difference on your website it can really affect your sales so I found something that's gonna help you guys and it's helping me already here it is this is the first public announcement easygraphicsmaker.com alright this is, I'm not trying to turn this into a commercial. I'm honestly excited about this. And I, I've spent a lot of time and money getting this going. Easygraphicsmaker.com. Now you're all going to run over there and see it. This is a service that I think will really help you. And I'm going to give it to you as Click Millionaires members for only $9.95. And I don't want to sound like an infomercial. Go, only $9.95. I'm really, this costs money. I'm selling this. This price is going to go up probably triple next week okay but if you guys are interested in this if you have the same problem I do making graphics that look good without spending a fortune on designers this thing rocks it rocks okay I didn't build this I, I found this online I bought it myself and it was so good I worked out a deal with the guys that produced it to resell it okay this, this creates this thing is way beyond me I'm not that techie but go to easygraphicsmaker.com and please come back in the chat room and say something if you find it or if it's not working or something. And I put up there a special deal just for you guys. Only Click Millionaires members can see this or are going to know about this right now. And this thing is a live demo there. You can play with it. It's super cool. And in fact, the whole page you're going to see there is made with that system. It's point and click. Even if you have no design sense, this thing can really, really help you. And for 10 bucks, I know it's a winner for you. And, of course, it has a money-back guarantee as well. All right? So um, that's enough for that. And who was it? We already had our first one. James. James, I'm going to send you. Just email me. Um, uh, prizes at clickmillionaires.com. Prizes at clickmillionaires.com. And tell me, uh, remind me, okay, James, if you're still watching. And I will send you the code, and you can get in for free, okay? Because you asked the first question. And we'll give away a couple more of these if people want to ask more questions, all right? So, um but I'm, I'm really excited about this product. I'm sorry to sound all salesy. I don't do that too often. But this thing, it works. It really works. And that whole page was done with those tools, okay? And it, I think it looks great. At least it's maybe you're better at this than I am. But that thing looks better than anything I've ever made myself. That's for sure. And it will cost you a lot less than having a pro do it. So that's a win-win in my book. I hope the site is working. Um, please let me know in the chat room if it's working. Uh, hopefully we didn't take down the servers with everybody looking over there at the same time. All right, so let me know if that looks cool to you, and we'll talk about it in the forum, okay? We'll talk about it in the forum. Uh, it'll be announced uh, tomorrow, I think, publicly, but I wanted you guys here at Video Office Hours to get to hear about it first. Uh, you're probably all busy over there uh, playing with it now, so I'm not going to be able to get any more questions out of you. <laughs> One-time cost. Good question, Charles. One-time. Um, I keep thinking about making it monthly, but... Um, basically haven't gotten around to that. So if you buy it now, it will be one time. For 10 bucks, believe me, you guys know, you could spend more than 10 bucks on a single graphic, right? Easily. If you went to Fiverr, you'd pay $5, and then they'd charge you uh, $5 more for the high quality PSD version or something, right? You could spend 10 bucks for one single graphic. That system will help you make an unlimited amount of graphics for only 10 bucks for you guys, okay? So I hope that's helpful to you. I can't give it away for free entirely. Actually, the masterminds, folks, I, I have given it to them for free because they're paying elsewhere. So actually, if you've been thinking about upgrading to masterminds, come over to masterminds <laughs> and you'll get it free, right? That's even, I should say that, it's free. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool system and I, and I don't want to, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but if this isn't helpful to you, then I, I would, uh, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised, put it that way, okay? 
So uh, if that's helpful to you, please let me know about it. When I talk about it in the forum, please tell other people it's helpful. Uh, I need your help to support the Click Millionaires Forum. It has a lot of expenses, and we are not breaking even. I lose money every month <laughs> clickmillionaires.com um, because I really am trying to help you guys. Uh, so if you want to tell people about this this deal, that's fine with me. Share it around. This thing can help make the difference. Your website will convert better if it has better looking graphics. That's all there is to it. If your website looks better, people will buy more. This is a, a this is a deal. Okay, sorry to beat that to death. All right, but I hope you're excited about it. Okay, and if we can, uh, <laughs> Charles says sold. Uh, Sheila says looks pretty cool. Uh, Marla says, true, been there, done that. <laughs> yes, exactly, right? I mean, this is an easy way. Uh, when I saw this, I was so excited because I, I wrestled with this for years. Longer than a lot of you have been online, I've been wrestling with this. And this is a really cool system, all right? So, anyway. Um, so, let's get back to answering some questions. I didn't mean for this all to be a big commercial. I'm just really excited about it. And uh, some more questions, and we'll give some more free access to these if we can get a few more questions from you guys, all right? Let's go back to Terry. Terry had a question earlier. Uh, are children's books on Kindle a good place to start? A good place to start uh, an online business, I presume. Children's books on Kindle. I would say yes and no. Here's the yes. Um, any ebook is a great business because you write it once and you can sell a million copies with no extra costs. Kindle, love it. I haven't done it myself yet, so I'm not an expert, but I, I literally, I could, I could show you notes right here sitting on my desk. I've got some Kindle books in the works. I'm very excited about that platform. I think it's a great angle. Uh, children's books, if you've got a niche, great. Of course, there are some cons to this as well. Um, children's books are highly competitive. Um, and they're really dependent on illustrations. So you really have to have a good illustrator. So, uh, Terry, I don't know if you're a writer more or an illustrator, but um, if you just have an idea for a children's book or words, that's not going to get it done. It's really about pictures. At least if you're talking about picture books, you know, for kids that are like seven or under. Um, if you're talking about a young adult fiction, you know, for eight and ten or fourteen year olds, that's a different matter. But I'm, I'm taking you literally here to say children's books, okay? So children's books, um, you have to have a great illustrator, and that can be very expensive. But the real issue with children's books is there's so much competition. Uh, I'll give you some insight actually on this personally. As you know, I've written several books, as I've mentioned already, on the wall behind me. When I went out looking for an agent, looking for a publisher, and I've done this three times, um, if you look around in the real world of traditional book publishing, almost every agent, publisher, uh, PR person, lawyer, anybody connected with the publishing industry will have a disclaimer on their site that says something like, no children's books. And that's because they are so, they're, honestly, they're so easy to write that people write so many of them that if you're in the industry, you could deluge with submissions about children's books. So unless you have a really unique idea with really good illustrations, it's tremendously competitive. And the other piece you need then, of course, is a great marketing plan. But if you have all those things, Terry, then yeah, absolutely, because you can sell something on Kindle and you can sell a million copies without any additional overhead you know, a million copies, you know, that would, of course would be a dream come true, but you know, even to sell a hundred or a thousand copies, uh, it can it can be very profitable and a lot of fun too, especially if you enjoy the story. And um, you can even get into the series sort of things, you know, uh, children like sequels very much and um, that can lead to a profitable angle for you. So um, why don't you come in the forum, we'll talk more about that, pros and cons. Uh, I would guess you've explored the business angle already somewhat, so come in and tell us what you figured out, and we'll try to help you wrestle through the rest of it, because that's what we do at clickmillionaires.com. So I hope that's helpful to you, Terry. And, uh, and Terry, since you stepped up and asked a question, why don't you send me an email also, prizes at clickmillionaires.com, and we'll give you free entry to uh, easygraphicsmaker.com also. Thanks for the question. All right, who else has questions? We're about halfway through already during the show, and I'm here to answer your questions if I can help you. So let me know what's on your mind and how I can help. And hey, it's not just me here, right? We've got all these other folks in the chat room as well, and they'll help you out with your questions too. So if we can help you, let us know. All right, um, so what are you thinking about Easy Graphics Maker? Are you guys all over there reading that and ignoring what I'm saying probably now? But uh, let's make sure, you know, I'm even going to indulge myself a little here and just make sure the site's still up since it suddenly went kind of radio silent in the chat room there. Okay, can you see that there guys? Welcome to the exclusive sneak preview sale. This is just for you, just for a few days. So if this is interesting to you, uh, hopefully you're all busy uh, checking it out, playing with the demo, 
Uh, and please, like I said, tell your friends. Tell your friends, okay? Um, all right, so what's going on on, let's see, what else did I want to talk about today? Uh, oh, I wanted to ask you to check out our website tune-up community clinic. If you've been over on clickmillionaires.com this week, you'll see something new there, which is a website tune-up community clinic. And this is where one of our members gets their website reviewed by everybody else in the community. And this is a great way to get thousands of dollars of free feedback, design advice, SEO advice, product strategy advice, marketing advice, whatever you want to ask. We'll post your website up and everybody else will contribute. And there have been some amazing answers. Uh, <laughs> the first one we've posted is from uh, Community Star winner Ron. And uh, one of our other members, Jax, he actually wrote him a 17 point essay. <laughs> I mean, we're talking major valuable feedback, and a bunch of other folks have contributed to that discussion as well, um, and it's really gotten off to a great start. So thanks to Sheila for posting that, and Ron for making himself the guinea pig for this new program, but it looks like it's going to be a great success. So if you see a website tune-up community clinic on the site, please be part of the community and help your fellow members tune up their website. If you'd like your website featured, well, at least so far you need to be a community star winner. And a Community Star Award is the award that we give at the end of each month uh, based on votes from all the members about who's been the most helpful. So if you're looking for thousands of dollars of really helpful usability and design and strategy and marketing feedback about your website, get a little more active in the forum, participate, help other people, and you'll get voted up and then we'll put your site up for a review by everybody. And it's a real, it's a really good service that, um, you know, people can help each other and um, it's, I think it's a lot of fun and I'm really glad to see our first one going off so well. So thanks to everybody who's participating there. Keep your eyes open for those website tune-up community clinics. Okay, so, um, all right, good. Well, thanks for the questions in the chat room there. Let's keep those coming. Um, and Terry says, yes, his question was mostly about children's picture books. And thanks for the input. You're welcome, Terry. Hope that's helpful to you. And, uh, all oh, right, Sheila, thank you. Great idea. She just posted in the chat room there the link to Ron's uh, website, Tune Up Community Clinic. And if you can help him find the keys to tuning up his <laughs> piano tuning business website, that would be great. Sheila slipped that little pun in there in the, uh, in the title. Very well done, Sheila. Okay, next up I want to take a question from Lori. Lori from Tennessee, she wrote in and asked me about setting up a directory of local services. She has an idea in mind. I won't want to... Uh, give away too many of the details here, but there is a uh, some local businesses that are lacking a directory in her area in Memphis, apparently. And she wonders if setting up a directory of them would be a good website business for her to get into. Right. Okay, so Lori, yes, um, that's a summary of the question. So Lori, thanks for writing in. And uh, the answer is, I love directories. I think directories are very clever. They are low maintenance, low cost to set up. Um, just text-based essentially and uh, they can be a little bit of a maintenance ongoing but it's 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 kind of a low stress business you don't you're not trying to um, there's not a lot of negotiations and stuff going on right you just you put up a listing and and maybe you charge people uh, maybe it's free to start and then you maybe charge them 10 bucks if they want to add their logo or something like that and if you can get a whole bunch of listings then those 10 bucks at a time can add up and ideally you have enough listings that you start to attract traffic from people all across the web who are interested in that topic and finding people that are listed in that directory and that can lead to a nice advertising based business as well through display ads like uh, AdSense or affiliate ads or whatever works for you. So I like the directory business a lot but Lori I think you're, you're missing a big opportunity here you're talking just about doing a directory of local services so why would you do that? I mean you do need to start somewhere but Memphis alone is not a big enough town to support a directory of much of anything. Um, uh, the Yellow Pages in general, I'm guessing in Memphis the Yellow Pages phone directory, for those of you that remember phone books, the Yellow Pages phone directory maybe would be about that thick, right? We're not talking about Los Angeles or New York or something, right? And if you just take one niche out of that, like you're talking about, you're talking about maybe what, 50 listings or something? Maybe less than that, 20 listings? That's not enough to build a business. So I would think bigger. The internet is global. How about doing those services at least for the state of Tennessee? And how about the whole East Coast? How about all the whole country? 
and maybe even the whole planet. You could be the source for listings in this business niche. That's a much bigger business. It's more work and it takes more time, but it leads to a lot more money. This is one of those things where they say um, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. If you have 20 listings just in Memphis, I'd be surprised if you got 20 visits a day. But if you have 20 listings in every city the size of Memphis or bigger across the United States, then suddenly you're talking about, I don't know, 500 cities or 1,000 cities, and you get 20 visits in each of those per day, suddenly you're getting some scale, you're getting some traffic. People are starting to recognize your site as an authority. Google is starting to recognize your site as an authority on that topic. That leads to higher search engine rankings. That leads to more free traffic. So it's a, it's a virtuous cycle, but it takes some scale. So, Lori, I love the idea, but I would think bigger, bigger. All right? That's a click millionaire's approach, all right? Find a good niche, which I think you've done, but then don't think small. Think big. Think big. Within reason. I'm not saying mortgage your house and go crazy here. <laughs> That's not the click millionaire's way either. I'm saying think about what you're doing, and you can prove the concept just locally in Memphis. That's fine, but don't stop there. If that starts to work... I want to see Chattanooga too, right? And then I want to see Cincinnati and Atlanta and you can work your way out maybe locally in the south. But something is, there's something here that's bigger, far bigger than just Memphis for you, Lori, to build your Click Millionaire lifestyle business. I hope that's helpful. Okay, what's going on back in the chat room here? Let's see. Thanks for that question, Lori. Hello, Jono. Nice to see you. Thanks for saying hello. Uh, if you're joining us late, I should say it again. The chat room is down there in the corner. If you're just watching the video, go down in the chat room, pop up the chat box, say hello. There's a whole bunch of folks here. Hi to Charles and Courtney and James and Jono and Kevin and Sheila and Terry and Mona and <laughs> everybody else that's here. Thanks for joining us. Kevin chimes in, if I was to start a directory service, I would lay it out similar to Craigslist. Yeah, that's a fine idea. You know, Craigslist is a uh, probably the ugliest site on the internet, but it works. And that simple layout works because people are just looking for information. They're not looking for pretty pictures. They don't need easygraphicsmaker.com at, uh, at Craigslist, for example. But even Craigslist started out locally in San Francisco, and it was just Craig's personal list of stuff going on. And he didn't cover everything at first. Even in San Francisco, it was a niche, and he built outwards from there. But the key to their success, of course, is they went well beyond San Francisco, and Craigslist is pretty much everywhere now, and a very, very successful site. And helped a lot of people, too. Good suggestion, Kevin. All right, Sheila is asking a question here, too. Sheila says, my website's almost done. I'm focusing on creating content. About how much content should I have on the site before moving on to social media and getting the word out? Good question. How much content should I have on my site before moving on to social media and getting the word out? And I think, Sheila, that just qualified you for free access to easygraphicsmaker.com, too, if you'd like it. Uh, you, and you know how to reach me, so let me know if that would be helpful to you. And anybody that's over there checking that out, please come in the chat room and let me know if that's helpful to you or if you see any bugs. <laughs> if you see any bugs, let me know. Okay. Um, let's see here. So uh, to answer Sheila's question, then I would suggest, Sheila, that you need... Well, there's no hard and fast rule here. I think you need enough content on the website that it looks interesting that it looks worth bookmarking, that it suggests to the new arrival that they might want to come back here. Most importantly, it has enough content that if you say, sign up for my email list, that they actually want to sign up for your email list. So it's a, it's a credibility establishing step rather than the content in and of itself. Uh, if you already had a thousand pages of top quality content, uh, people will arrive and they'll say, wow, this is great. I, I'm not going to remember this, so I'll sign up for an email newsletter. That's what I often do if I see a site that I like. So you need enough to cross that hurdle without having put up a thousand pages of content. Uh, my guess is, um, you know, with as I recall, the, the content that you're focused on is quite niche and, and uh, a little bit rare. Um, so maybe even just three or four articles would be enough. The key is, and actually this is a, a good point, Sheila, I'm glad you asked this. The key isn't so much the quantity. It's the quality that you offer to the visitor in terms of this. Here it is. You want to make them feel like you understand them and can help them. So you want to be specific. If I just put up a site about cars, there's lots of sites about cars. 
lots of people interested in cars, but if they drop by, oh, this is another general site about cars. It's not going to get us anywhere. But if I happen to collect Jaguar Type E convertibles made between 1968 and 1971, and I put up a site about that, and people are looking for that, and they come in and say, oh, look, that, that, that's, that, that's it. That's exactly the car I collect. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Oh, and he's got some photos here. Oh, and he's got some advice on how to do repairs. I, oh, this guy, this is what I, this is a, there's a meeting of minds here, right? That's what you really need. So it isn't about a lot of content. It's about enough that the customer comes in and goes, oh, you understand me. This, this is something I need and you understand why and together we can build a relationship. That's what you're really trying to say. I know that's kind of airy fairy, <laughs> kind of squishy. Um, and you need a certain number of pages just to, to look like a real website, right? So I'd say, you know, pick a number, five pages, right? I just made that up. Maybe it's three, maybe it's eight, I don't know. Half a dozen pages. But if you are have a specific enough niche, an arrival should say, ah, I found it. This lady gets what I'm after. And it looks like well, maybe she's only got five pages now, but it looks like she's on the right path. And, and I'm so glad to have found someone who recognizes this problem and can help me solve it. That's really what you're after. Uh, I hope that makes sense. That's more um, emotional, I guess, than, than quantitative, but that's really what it's about. And if you can feed that into an upsell to your email list, that's what you're really after. So even if you only have one article, but it's really on target and informative, that could be enough. Because then you have a pop-up or a prompt in the, in the article itself that says, if you'd like more information like this, sign up for my email. And they'll go, read the article, I got it, wow, oh, yeah, she really gets me. Oh, I, oh, this is, yeah, this is right on point. Oh, okay, that's all, huh? Well, I have to sign up for the email list to get more? Click, I will. I will go and sign up. That's what you're after. So I hope that answered your question. That, that's kind of big picture-ish, but, but that's really what you're after. You want the customer to identify with you. Or, or put it the other way around, the customer wants to feel that you identify with them. That's what it's really after. All right. Hope that made sense. Um, okay, I should mention, by the way, if you like this kind of private coaching, we do this in smaller groups where everybody gets on the webcam and there's no chat room. We actually talk directly to each other using the Google Hangout system. That's one of the free benefits of being a Mastermind member. So if you're thinking about more personalized coaching, working directly with me, and um, with other members in a small group, a private group, uh, come on over to Masterminds and we'll help, help you out. You can find out more using the link up there that says Upgrade to Masterminds. All right. Okay, let's see. We have another question here from Allison. Hello, Allison. Hi, Scott. I have a gluten-free meal planning website. Oh, I remember. Yeah, okay. I, I'm doing regular social media and blog posts, but I'm still trying to get the plans in front of the right people. After reading your book, I'm interested in affiliate marketing. You mentioned share a sale as a mid-priced option, but mentioned you had not yet tried it out. Do you have any updates on this or recommendations for any other mid-priced affiliate sites? The website is www.prepdish.com. Anybody looking for gluten-free meal planning, please visit www.prepdish.com. There you go, Allison. There's a free plug for you. Okay, so uh, first of all, glad you're reading the book so closely. I really try hard to fill those books full of detailed information, so it sounds like you did read that, and I appreciate your attention. Um, share a sale is continues to be a good mid-priced option. That's that's very well put. Um, they are active in the affiliate marketing space. They are cheaper than signing up with CommissionJunction.com, which is very expensive. Um, probably roughly the same tier or a little ex less expensive than LinkShare.com. Uh, and uh, more professional and um, more professional and more established, um, well, that's the wrong word, more professional, I guess that's it, more professional, uh, perhaps, or, or, or a, uh, a narrower uh, business offering, I guess would be another way to put it, than all the affiliate offers on ClickBank.com. ClickBank.com is very interesting also, but it tends to be more individual offers put up by individual entrepreneurs. Share sale is a real company for real for real businesses, but they focus on smaller um, businesses than perhaps CommissionJunction.com does, so it's cheaper. So I have still not yet tried it. I keep talking about an affiliate program. <laughs> Anybody who's read my books knows that I've been talking about one for years, and I really am going to do it one of these days. Uh, I just have enough other things going on I haven't gotten around to it, probably leaving a lot of money on the table for myself there too. But um, So any other recommendations for mid-priced affiliate sites? No, because I haven't seen any new ones emerge. 
And I guess that's a good thing. That market seems to have shaken itself out. There were some acquisitions and consolidations a few years ago. In fact, Linkshare was recently purchased by Rakuten, which is a Japanese, uh, a Japanese online company. Um, not that, that should affect your relationships with them as as a an affiliate or a merchant, but just demonstrating that there's continuing consolidation in that space. So the big boys, CJ.com, Linkshare, ShareASale, and then a bunch of other uh, smaller players, including ClickBank, kind of over on the side with a slightly different focus. So if I were you and I were looking at this, I would still think about ShareASale. That's the short answer. You might also try, however, ClickBank.com because you're an individual selling a specific product. ClickBank.com can be a great way to learn about that business and you can post your offers one at a time as opposed to having an ongoing monthly retainer cost. Um, most of the bigger brokers, like the ones I mentioned, have a minimum monthly spend. Um, in the case of, of CJ.com, that could be thousands of dollars a month. Share a sale, I think last time I checked, was about 200 or 250 a month. But if you've never done any affiliate marketing and you're not sure how it's going to go, even $200 a month might be more than you want to spend. If you list on ClickBank.com, you can pick one offer to offer. There's a $49 one-time listing fee, and after that, you just pay commissions. Um, so you only pay if you sell, and that's a nicer way to pay, obviously, than putting out money up front. So I would take a look at ClickBank.com as well. There are some others out there. If you Google around um, uh, for affiliate uh, program software or, or, or keywords like that, you'll find some others, and I'd encourage you to investigate as many as you'd like, um, but share sale would be my choice if I were you, or ClickBank, perhaps even better especially as a testing ground for you. So, Allison, if that's helpful and you'd like to come on back uh, into the forum and follow up on that, we'd be happy to help you. And, uh, in fact, I guess we'll just make this a party. If you'd like a copy of easygraphicsmaker.com, if you'd like the access there, you can send me an email, too, and we'll hook you up, okay? Thanks for being here today. And, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying that product or enjoying this show, would you please share this? Tell people about this. That we need the, the forum to keep growing and going. <laughs> so, when you see something you like, uh, like uh, the new Easy Graphics Maker product, or these video office hours, or uh, actually the niche business identification checklist. Did you guys all get this? I don't know if we had this out yet last time. Did you get the niche business identification checklist? This was a free download now. It's under the How to Start a Business tab um, on the site, right up, uh, right up there. Um, this is a free download. There's a version of this in the Click Millionaire's book that only has about 20 categories. But this new version has more than 30, and it can really help you objectively score and rank and compare different business ideas you have. It's, it's, it's over a decade of my personal experience digested into a two-page uh, spreadsheet. I think it could be really helpful to you. So if this is helpful to you, would you share this with folks online as well? This, all that kind of sharing is what we need to keep going, okay? Jono says, an extension of Sheila's question, once the site is up and established, is it a good or bad idea to keep all the best content behind a members-only sign-up? Oh, that's a tough one, Jono. Um, that's, a, that's almost a Apple versus PC sort of religious question. <laughs> People really can debate this one, and you're a smart guy, so you're obviously asking. You know that's a tough question. Um, should you keep the content behind a paywall? This is a question, honestly, not so much of strategy as of your pocketbook. If you can keep all the stuff behind a paywall and get enough people to pay for it, then more power to you. you. That's what you should do, right? It's exclusive original content. If people keep paying for it, then I would hide it, keep it away from prying eyes. Problem is on the internet, there's lots of competition. There's probably other people with maybe similar and maybe not as good, but close enough sort of content out there. And increasingly, it's really hard to keep information um, from getting out of the bottle. Right? Just ask the music business or the publishing industry or, or the video games. Any, you know, any of these publishing copyright protected businesses have really gotten slammed because the Internet's a big copying machine. So um, I think you want to find a balance. If your pocketbook can take it, then give away as much as you can for free and use that as an upsell to something more. Or split the content 60-40 or something like that. Um, and this is really the freemium approach that I talked a lot about in, uh, let's see, in my second book. It's in E-Riches 2.0, the, uh, the one on the bottom there. Um, if you haven't read that, um, actually any of you haven't read this one, this one, I, I think this is a darn good book. Okay, looks like we're out of focus there. There we go, E-Riches 2.0. There's a whole chapter in here about freemiums. 
Um, and a freemium is the idea that you give away a certain amount of the content in order to attract more sales. And that is just a winning strategy on the web these days because there's so much competitive info that's free. Even if it's lower quality, it's free, and people like free. So I would start with some free and then put as much as you can behind the paywall in order to get yourself paid. Um, so I hope that's I hope that's helpful. Again, kind of a squishy answer, but this is another good one to debate in the forum, John. So come on into clickmillionaires.com and let's talk about that. Uh, and it would help, of course, to know what kind of content you're talking about and also the format that it's in. Are you talking about you know PDFs or eBooks or blog posts or podcasts or videos or you know drawings, um, you know whatever it is? And uh, we can help you out a little more specifically if we have more specifics. All right. Allison said, awesome, thanks. Okay, you're welcome, Allison. Good, glad that's helpful. Okay, let's see now. Uh, we're gonna we're coming up on time here, so let me talk about, um, let, well, let, should we move into our closing quotation, or does anybody have one more question that we want to deal with? Uh, one more, well, I'll give a pause here if anybody has one more question. And I uh, want to remind you there's a mobile version of clickmillionaires.com, so if you're out and about and you're on your little, uh, on your phone or your tablet, one of these guys, you can um, you can go and uh, go to clickmillionaires.com slash m clickmillionaires.com slash m and that will pull up a mobile version of the form so that you can keep up to date more easily that's real helpful um, and then uh, also want to remind we've got podcasts tons of podcasts that I've done over the years and you can go to clickmillionairesradio.com I know a lot of you have come and joined us because you've listened to the audible version of Click Millionaires or my other book, Internet Riches. If you want to come and listen to other stuff, the podcasts are available, and there's several years' worth. Lots of good information available at clickmillionaires.com. Um, let's see. Now, oh, Charles chimes in here with the last question, and then we'll do a closing quotation, as we often do as well. Charles says, I haven't read that book yet. Is it still current with recent Internet and Google changes? Uh, let me think. So you're asking, Charles is asking, is this still current with the recent Google changes? Yes, because um, it is current because this is not an SEO book. Uh, this is a marketing strategy book, and it talks about the different social media uh, opportunities and different publishing formats and platforms and how they compare with each other so that you can figure out which is the best one for your needs. So it's a little bit of a survey book, uh, and it talks about tactics that you can use to generate traffic. So it's a traffic generation book, but it doesn't talk much about search engine optimization. If you want to talk about search engine optimization, um, come into the forum, or the best thing that I know of is the one that I wrote several years ago called Search Engine Optimization in Plain English, and that's at scottfoxshop.com. That's a special report over there um, that still holds true, uh, even though it is a couple years old. The fundamental principles of SEO have not changed that much. Um, the SEO community likes to get really wrapped up in Panda and Penguin and all this stuff, and that's true, but it's not the whole story. So, uh, yes, e Riches 2.0 is still a valuable read, I I'm sure of it. Jonah says, awesome, that helps me. We'll take the question to the forum with more specifics, too. Thank you. You're welcome, Jonah. Thanks for being here. All right, so now we're going to wrap up today with our closing quotation. I started doing this a few uh, episodes ago because some of you know that, um, that I often, I actually I run a whole website called 365successquotes.com because I like quotations. And when a smart person can summarize something into a, just a short phrase, I think it can be valuable and inspirational. So here's today's quote and what I think about it. There are risks and costs to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. Anybody tell me who said that? No, no cheating by going to Google. There are risks and costs to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. The point of that quotation is that it's easy to sit still. It's easy to sit still. It's comfortable. And it feels risky to go out and do something. But the long-term risks of inaction are actually greater than those of action. Especially on the Internet, you can start things. You can start a website. You can post on social media, you can show some video, videos on YouTube. Those are all things that you can do with very little risk, actually, all of which can help you learn how to build things online and build your own business. So there are risks and costs to a program of action like that, but honestly, they are less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. In other words, if you don't get going, nothing's going to change. <laughs> That's what this, this guy's really saying. Anybody know who that is? 
I'll give it another minute. If anybody can tell me, I will. Uh, you'll get a easygraphicsmaker.com. How's that? You get access to easygraphicsmaker.com for free. The risks and costs to a program of action, but they're far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. So if you're here today as a delaying tactic, if you're here today thinking, I'll watch this show because I'm still preparing to do something. This is research. I'm still researching. I'm analyzing. Stop listening. I would much rather have you not watch these videos and go do something than watch these videos instead of doing something. Comfortable in action is not action, is not progress, is not going to change your life. It's time for you to step up and take some action because that's what click millionaires do. That's how we become click millionaires, in fact. So nobody seems to know who that is, so I'll tell you it's John F. Kennedy. He was our 35th president of the United States, taken from us much too soon, obviously, under tragic circumstances. But JFK said that, and I hope you'll remember it for this week until our next video office hour is coming soon. There are risks and costs to a program of action. But those risks and costs are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. So I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for being here with me today. Please go check out easygraphicsmaker.com if you like it. Please leave some comments back in the forum. We'll be talking about it. I need your help to spread the word. Tell people about this. The price is going up to $27 next week. So if you're interested in this, you are invited. Your friends are invited. But that's it. The price is going to triple, and you will have got it first. And as long as the website stays up, you'll have access. Believe me, this is a real deal. I wouldn't be recommending it to you otherwise. All right? So thanks for being here today. Please go ahead and tell your friends about ClickMillionaires.com. When you're on Facebook, tell them about us. When you're on a blog somewhere commenting, say, hey, you know, ClickMillionaires.com might be helpful to you. If you're sending out a tweet, maybe tell them about my books or the uh, Niche Business ID checklist or, or EasyGraphicsMaker.com. These are all things that can help us keep the forum alive and growing to serve you better. Thanks for being here today. I'm Scott Fox from ClickMillionaires.com. I appreciate your time and your attention, and I hope you have a great week. Doing my best to help you. Come on over the forum and help the rest of us help you better too. See you soon again online.